Hello, boyos. Have a fireball. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG. And uh, we are on our final leg of the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. Uh, we just finished the big ginormous room in the last episode. And uh, we're at the checkpoint and ready to move on to the final challenge here in this dungeon. Um, and however long it'll take us to get there. So we've got some bad bads already up there. Uh, our pots aren't in too bad a shape, but we definitely need to replenish our food. So let's just do that now. Get those topped off. And we've got uh, a group of guys here, so let's nuke them. Down with you. All right, let's go s poke our head around the corner. Ah. Okay, we'll be going down that direction. Let's just take a quick peek over here. We'll pop another light flask. Everything going on up here? I don't think so. This is just a dead end. All right, let's nuke the bases. Okay, what do we got going on down here? Ah, I remember this part. Gotta do a bunch of parkour. Swinging on chains and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so let's do it. Got us to there, then we gotta go that direction. While we're here though, let's take a quick look, see around. None of those look like secret doors, so I think we're good to proceed. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got friends. Hey, cut that out. All right. That went pretty smooth. I 
think I'm gonna switch this to light burst. In case we run into that another group of these dudes again in a on another platform, which we probably will. Oh, this guy right here. Look at those spiders that come out of those. That's just crazy. <laughs> Arachnophobia, anyone? All right. This is our next. We got light burst on there. So what we're gonna do is go those two chains and. and uh, okay. Yeah, I see the loop at the very end. Here we go. Bad guys? Nope, no bad guys. Okay. I hear bad guys. Oh, they're over there. Huh. So, why would we go over that way? Well, hello. Oh. Don't see any secrets in here. Giant bone arrows. Okay, so are we supposed to go that way or this way? I don't know. Let's go this way first because I'm kind of curious as to what's uh, what's over here. Is it just a... Interesting. Yeah, I'm not really sure... What the deal is. We'll figure it out though. We always do. Okay, so we have a long corridor there where we have to kind of dodge some pillars. Let me go back over here for a second. This, I mean, this appears to me like the way out to the next level. I mean, I don't know that for sure. So, since we don't really know, let's just go this way and see what happens. Alright. Well, that was not my best move. But, hey, that worked. I planned it that way, just in case you guys... Oh, this leads to a big old gold chest. Okay. Yeah, I planned it that way, just so you guys know. That was completely planned. There we go. Okay, so that explains that. That leads to a, a gold chest, which is worthless to us, but had we done this dungeon at the appropriate level, um, it would not have been. Okay. Do... Two, two, um, oh shit. Okay. Hopefully there's a way to get out of here. <laughs> That's probably too high up for me to reach, isn't it? Um, what about if we did this? 
Okay. And then this. And then... Oh, well, there's not a whole lot of room to maneuver! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, you know what? I think we can get up over there. Also, let's get rid of you. And you. And you. And you. Salvage you. And... I think we're good on everything else. Alright, let's move on. We did that for... For education. As much as anything. So... When we run this dungeon in the future, we'll know that that leads to a gold chest. All right, let's get back to fireball here. Lots of bad bats over there. Is there something up here? Guess not, because it doesn't let me go back there. Okay. Let's nuke. Centurion. Gotta get this caster here. Another caster. There we go. Lemon squeezy. Come back here and get that door open in a second. I just want to see what's around the corner here. Hopefully, um, hopefully there's another checkpoint before we do the bosses because I don't want to have to do that little parkour thing all over again if we don't have to. All right, doesn't appear to be anything up here. What's he doing up there? Ouch. Green fire is bad. 
It burns your ass just as much as orange fire does. Let's open the door. All right, good. Checkpoint. We'll put our final campfire down. And we'll actually use it. <clears throat> we have a level 8 comfort level here. It's up to 18. Uh, does it get better anywhere else? Nope, looks like it's level 8 all the way around. Okay, good. We are good on our food bus. We are going to need to repot, though. Um, I'm going to put the big skull guys down here because this is going to be the big fight. And I think we're okay on the rest of this stuff. Secrets or anything back that way. Okay, so, um, one side has a bunch of spikes, and one side has a bunch of fireballs. Don't remember which one is which. So, since we don't know for sure, we're going to follow the rule and go left first. This is the fireball side. All right. So, um, I think what we're going to do here is... We need to find a cheese place. Which we could use. We probably. Yeah, the boss is in there. We're probably not high enough up, though, to be safe from him in that spot. Gonna have to get those spawners out of there. I wonder if we could do this. Oh, I didn't hit it on time. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, let's go. Oh! Man, I'm trying to get an updraft going, but it's just not enough time. Okay. <laughs> I could just barely not get up there. Ah, shit. Okay. What if we try it from a little further back here? Oh. Hmm. Didn't seem to want to let me stand on that ledge. That's 
weird. Let's try it one more time. Whoops. There. Alright, this is going to make using the, the staff really difficult, though. But can we lob this over there and take out the spawner? Hmm. Well, we can kill the first batch of them at least by doing this. Um, I can't quite get the right trajectory, though, I think, to hit the spawner. You know, and get up over the gate there. Okay. So that eliminated those guys. Is there a ledge... Here, there is. Okay. So that get that definitely gives us cheese options. Let's come back down and nuke. Because I don't I don't think the boss can come out until we open the gate. Where's the gate? Oh, wait. We gotta do this. Alright. No, don't aim at them. Okay, so we got that spawner out of the- Oh my god. Okay. And... I wonder if... There's the boss. I wonder if we could keep him away from us. Yeah, he might he might actually stay away from us. Maybe. Okay, we gotta get this other spawner out of here. Is he did he see us? Uh, he did. Okay. That's not what I intended to do. Wow. <laughs> okay. That sucks. Our first death. Um, now, does everything reset, or is he still down there? I don't know. Let's go back in here. Uh, oh. Why the hell? Oh, I guess it does bring us back here, doesn't it? Uh, all right. Let's heal up. I was just about ready to try and blink out of his way, but he's, he's got such a long sweep with that, uh, you know, melee attack of his. Yeah, we just couldn't uh, make quite make that happen. Uh, take one of these. Take one of these. Prayer flask elixir blazing. Okay. We don't really. I guess we don't need to really repair anything. The question is: Is he still down there? Or did everything reset? I don't know. I can't tell from here, so let's just go. 
He's still there. Okay. Um, let's get our stuff first. Okay. It looks like he might not be aware of us quite yet. And if that's the case, let's use this opportunity to get rid of this. No, not that. This. There. Okay. So at least we don't have to worry about new ads now. Okay. So far, so good. So, what we're going to do is... Get a bunch of Skull Buddies to help us out here. Alright. Yeah, the Skull Buddies are helping a lot. Oh shit, 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 shit. Not good. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that wasn't, that actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it sucked that he killed us the first time. But, uh, yeah, Skull Buddies, man, for the win. Jeez Louise, those guys are badass. Okay, salvage that. Delete. 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 Um... And I think we're good. Okay, cool. Uh, did we get... I guess we already got the... Technically got the rune. Uh, we got a... That guy over here. Where did he go? Oh, did he get killed by the fireballs? Oh no, he's right there. Let's go look in this room for a second. This is where the boss came out. Is there anything in here? Looks like it's just like one of the other rooms. Oh, excuse me. Actually, no. Is this where he came out? I think he came out on the other side, where that door was. Nope, nothing in here. Okay. Let's go do the other side. go right. There's a bunch of spikes down there. Remember that. Okay, so... I think this is the same thing. Right? We've got two rooms with spawners we have to take out. There's one spawner there. Boss will come out of there. There aren't any spawners in this room. Okay, let's cheese these guys. Everybody cool?
Hello, boyos. Have a fireball. Are y'all dead? I think so. All right. Okay, so, we press the button, we run over here, take this spawner out really quick. Throw out a bunch of skull buddies, and then see what happens. I need to actually get away from this thing, though, because it keeps re-popping. Uh, we're good on our food, we're good on our flasks. Let's do this. How come that door didn't open? Wait, what the hell's going on? Did I not press the button? I thought I pressed the button. Maybe I didn't press the button. I did press the button. Is there another button? Oh, now it just opened. Okay. Here comes the boss. Okay, spawner's taken care of. Does the boss know we're here? He doesn't, okay. All right, so same plan, except for this time we gotta watch out for the damn spikes. Um, I almost wonder if we should try and fight him back in here just so we're not in the spikes. I'm not sure. But let's do this. Hola! Him. Oh shit. Ah! Okay, nuke. Alright, we're out of stamina. Ow, fuck. That hurt. Okay. I could really use some stamina right about now. <clears throat> yep. Okay, we got this. I'm glad it doesn't make you redo everything all over again. That would suck. Uh, take one of those. Take one of these. Take one of these. I should have um, popped out some more skull buddies. Um, you know, 
while he was still a little far away from us. It's almost... I think it's actually almost better to stay close to him. Um, rather, you know, because when you get far away, then he does those really long lunge attacks. And, yeah, it doesn't always go so well. All right, so... Missed him. There we go. Got his attention now. Out of mana. Why don't I have mana on my toolbar? Just let him do that to us. So it's really hard to do because you can't, you don't have room to maneuver, you know, as much as you normally would. Got it. Whew. Okay. Um, really stupid of me not to have a mana potion on my toolbar. And of course you don't notice it until you absolutely need it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Ugh, shit. Can we loot him without getting spikety spiked? What if we do this? There we go. Um, we have a, a thingy over here we gotta grab. And my dress is all hiked up again. Whatever. We'll keep it hiked up. Oh, there. Okay. It just came unhiked. All right. Let's grab these for the ecto shards. Uh, there we go. Killed a lot of dudes over here. Nothing else back that way. Had it there a sec. There we go. Normally I wouldn't care, but I want to. I want to get all these shards because we need them for crafting. Okay, let's go take a look over here. Oh, hello. Nothing in here. Okay, I think that's it. So stamina was um, a little bit of an issue for us during that fight. Um, so something to think about.
but I think all in all it went pretty well. Silver shot bow legendary. Do I see something over here? No, I guess not. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for the Nomad Highlands Hollow Holes. Just taking a quick peek around. I don't believe there are any secrets in this room, but it never hurts to look. Yeah, it looks like it's all clear back here. Well, that was fun. That was fun. And we died twice, I think, and and both times to uh, both times to the bosses. Um I think that the fireball area was actually a little easier just because I had a little more room to maneuver. The spiked area was, uh, you know, was a little more challenging because we didn't have as much room to maneuver. But I almost wonder, like, if, like I was saying, oh, excuse me, at least in the spiked area, if it would be better to fight him in one of those back rooms and just kind of stay under his legs. Um, another mistake I noticed I made is I would scooch underneath his legs but he would still be doing the swipe attack. In fact, I think that killed us, at, you know, one time. So that's another thing, you know, we'll have to kind of take into account when we're fighting any of these Cyclops bosses, because we're going to have more of them to fight, you know, of course, in the Kendallways dungeon. But, nice accomplishment. I'm, I'm uh, feeling good about stuff. We finally nailed this dungeon on, uh, you know, solo as a mage, too. You know, the thing about the mage, though, you're you're really squishy, and it's very dangerous, you know, up close and personal, but having, you know, the ability to just nuke things from afar is a huge, huge advantage to playing this class. And I know you can kind of do that to some extent with an archer, too, but, you know, you just don't have the explosive AoE as an archer that you do with a mage. You can make explo explosive arrows... But that's pretty damned expensive, you know, to 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 use it to the same extent that I, you know, was able to use my my staff and Eternal Fireball for free, essentially. So anyway, just some cool observations about playing this class and, you know, doing these dungeons um, as this class. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this little three part series that we did here on the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. What's coming up next is we still have a lot more work to do on, on the home uh, building episodes. And, of course, we have Kindle Ways uh, to do as well. And probably, you know, maybe what we'll do, too, is we'll just kind of go around and do some wrap-up quests and, and that sort of thing before it's all completely said and done. So, with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.